deal with airplane peanuts. But essentially, you get a micro needling, which is like little tiny needles, and then it brings your blood to the surface, which is like really healthy for your skin. And then they can inject all sorts of stuff into your face. Yeah, but what are they putting in there? Listen. It is an extraction from a, um, a, a, um, a piece of skin uh, that came from a young person um, far, far away, and they somehow figured out how to extract. It's foreskin from a Korean baby. I... It's like, it's... Pause that. That's real. She's putting Korean baby penises in her face. And there are Korean babies, thousands of them, going... Where's my penis? Where's the rest of my penis? And looks as, it's right here. <laughs> it's my cheekbones. <laughs> How do you say pe penis in Korean? Yeah. How do you say penis in you Korean? You know, if I, I don't, gochu. Gochu? Yeah, yeah. Where is my gochu? <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> right? And I'm going to tell you this right now. Yeah. If I was one of those Korean babies, yeah. when I get older, mm -hmm. I'm coming to LA. <laughs> I'm knocking on the, her door. Yeah. Want it back? <laughs> <laughs> Just grab her face. Take it out. Take it out. I want it back. You? How about this? We yeah. can start your AAI, AAPI, yeah. PSA you know, that's campaign. What I'm, that's the new campaign. No more Korean. Fuck the Asians being violated against. That's the, that's the real crime. Because Korean specific. No more Korean foreskin facials. Yeah, no more Korean foreskin facials. No, facials. no more Korean foreskin facials. No more Korean foreskin facials. Dude, no if you more... don't want to participate in an AAPI yeah. and stop Asian if hate. If you don't want to be here, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> Jules. <laughs> no, no more Korean, Korean foreskin facials. No more Korean foreskin facials. No more Korea. Foreskin's facial. Uh, there we go. I mean, geez. it's like... Minimal. You don't have to go to the protest, okay? <laughs> let me ask another question about this. About this. I don't know. what. All I know is this clip. Okay, but let me just ask a question. But I'll answer so it the, anyway. All right, so imagine you're in Korea. I'm, in Korea. Born, I'm a Korean You're baby. a surgeon. Oh. You're, you're, you, you deliver babies. You're a doctor. Got it. Right? Baby's born. You clip the fucking force again. Mm -hmm. Wh whose idea is it at first to go, maybe this... <laughs> Could go. Well, you know what's so funny. You know what's so funny. What happened? He clipped the foreskin and then he put it on his cheeks. One of the one of the surgeons. And what, as a joke. As a joke. Did make everyone laugh? And the nurses go. Skin look beautiful. You look Twelve. <laughs> 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 he put a bunch of little baby foreskins all over his yeah, face as a joke. Yeah. Right. Oh, look at me! Look at me! Right. <laughs> you know, everybody, look at me! Right. And, the, and, and maybe everyone. Wait, what is it? Buffalo make, Bill? Who is it that yeah, puts yeah, skin? Yeah. On, yeah. So yeah. he puts it on his face. Buffalo right? Bill. And he's doing a little funny. <laughs> Look at me, look at me, everybody, look at me, right? And then and then everyone's kind of bit, and then one nurse goes, Hey, you look young. <laughs> when I first saw you, you know what I thought? I'm, I'm being serious? honest because I was being honest, so you so just am be I. honest. All no, right. no joke. I said, that's that crazy guy that gets naked all the time at the comedy store. That's literally what I thought to myself. That's that crazy guy that gets naked at the comedy store. When do I get naked? What? <laughs> when do you get naked? When do I get naked? All the time? When? All the time. No. No, no, don't look, Google it. <laughs> don't Google it? You won't find anything. And this won't be on a TV show. It'll, if it's performing too, it doesn't matter. Oh my God, I won't find it. The first eight pictures are of you on stage performing. naked. Performing. The same thing as a TV show. No. Yes, performing. This is on Tom Green's show. Performing. <laughs> <laughs> performing. This is on at a radio station. Performing. <laughs> performing. Bobby Lee naked on stage. Performing. This is you at your house. Performing. No, they're performing. But I love how you say I don't get naked. Every, look at how many naked photos come up. It's almost insane. It's almost absurd how many come on. Have you have you ever seen my? Yeah, name? you do. You do all right. Let me show it to you again. I've oh. seen it. <laughs> it ain't that is small. That, pull the fucking camera to the side. <laughs> pull right. the camera. Yeah, yeah. That's it, dude. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's that, all right. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's that's it, dude. Now hold on. Right. You you have to deal with that now. <laughs> <laughs> would it would it kill him to trim a little bit? No. I go to the airport and it's Sebastian Maniscalco was, was there at the airport. Tom was there. I think Dane Cook was there. And you know we were supposed to get our own tickets. So my manager Abby Juju, she's Jewish. She wants to save money, so she always gives me coach. Always. She's like, honey, you, you, it's, you, it's not a big deal. There's no difference. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> now I remember. Yeah, yeah. So then <laughs> these guys get first class. Yeah. So I'm, I'm talking to them in the, you know, you know at, at the gate. gate. Yeah. 
we're giggling. They're first class, and they all leave. And I'm like, now I blush, <laughs> and I'm going, oh my god, I gotta walk by them, right? And you know, let me say, let me say something. Walking by, I don't know how Christ felt when he was like, <laughs> you know, what I mean? holding the thing and they yeah. were throwing rocks, but. It felt, you know, similar. Yeah, I I would assume. The only thing I regretted in that moment, yeah. was that I wasn't already better friends with you because then I would have enjoyed it <laughs> so much more. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Did you I, just feel sorry for him at that point? No, like I, because with a comic, you already like they let you know what kind of person they are. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. some comics who would have given off the vibe of like, don't make this a thing. Yeah, and you kind of like <laughs> if you can pick up on people's, yeah, you know, body language and stuff, you're like, all right, you'd be like. But he was playing into, like, he was talking about it. Like, I'm so embarrassed. And I was like, that's awesome. Like, you should be. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're a piece of shit. Go back there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it was. Yeah. They were like booing. Did you boo? I think they were some yeah. boos. And then you yeah, yeah, yeah. told the flight attendant to bring you stuff. I'm yeah. Like, go give him this pillow. Yeah. Well, no, you came back and threw a pillow on me. <laughs> he took a first class pillow and he goes, hey, use that. You know what I mean? And it was just. So embarrassing. Yeah, My yeah. neighbor was a was a chef named Roy Choi. Roy Choi oh, started. Roy Choi. So he was my next door neighbor, Pokey. and our kids yeah. are the same age. Oh, yeah, Roy Choi. Yeah, yeah. I know Roy Choi. I know Roy Choi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roy Choi. <laughs> Roy Choi. Roy Choi. Who the fuck is it? I love, I love that. Do I know Roy Choi? Uh, yeah. You know Roy How do Choi. I know Roy he Choi? Owns Pokey Hotel. truck. He owns. Uh, yeah, his restaurants. Yeah, but Hotel. do I know him personally? I think so. Are you friends? I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Roy. <laughs> does anyone know what happened over the weekend? Oh, does okay. No. What, what are you gonna say before we even get up? I might stop What's you. What's the biggest thing? All right. Well, I'm stopping you. <laughs> what that does has no business in in this podcast in this anymore. Mm. I feel like it's my right to tell this story. It's my story him. to tell. tell Guess him. why? Where'd you guys? Because I had to fucking put your poop in a doggy bag, didn't I? Whoa. <laughs> it's my story now. As as. If I have to do the cleanup, it's my story to tell. I have to know the story now. Please tell me. Tell us, Bobby. <laughs> tell me it's your clue. story? You tell me. So I get a phone call. I get a phone call. He's coming home from, from Warner Brothers. And I get a frantic phone call. And he's like, babe, that's something. A, that's, a, that's not necessarily true. Something so bad just happened. I went happened. to Terry's first. Oh, yeah. He went to Terry's. He ate Mexican first. food. He ate which first, is yeah. great food, by the way. Oh, right. Melrose. No, there's a new one on it. Oh. Anyway. And he, I get a phone call and he's like, babe, something really bad just happened in my head. The first thing is like, oh my God, he's finally run over somebody. And like, that's what oh, I thought. because of his driving. Yeah, because he's a wild driver. <laughs> Dude, his driving's insane. Yeah. So then I was like, shit, wh what happened? And he's like, I need help. I'm downstairs in the garage and there's poo everywhere. And I'm like, how is there poo everywhere? It turns oh, out brother. that he was on the freeway, en route to come home, stuck traffic. in traffic, couldn't make it out of the exit, pulled over into the side of the freeway, climbed over into the back seat, and took shit in the back seat. <laughs> do you like that? That's something dad would do. <laughs> You're just like dad. <laughs> It's just like a man. <laughs> what was Steve doing? It's just like father. I can't father. believe it. You're just like dad, man. That's exactly what dad would do. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> dad. My dad was driving. He used to drive this van because he put uh, his merchandise in it. And then he was on some kind of freeway or highway. And he couldn't stop either. But he did it on a paper plate at least. <laughs> he, he did it on the seat. He did it right on the seat. Disgusting, man. And then he comes, he comes running You're upstairs. An You're a goddamn animal, man. You need help, bro. And can I tell you what happened he's a, afterwards? He's a beast. So he tells... Oh. He he comes up and I see his butt as he wa runs into the bathroom and it's just diarrhea all over his pants. Oh so then I'm thinking God, he couldn't even take his fucking pants off. It's his to health. Shit? It's his health. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, we need to talk. No, like he seriously, he pulled into his pants this. and then into the what? car seat and then no, I said, I'm so "Fine, about you now. listen to this, Steve." Oh no. 
and it's then bad. and then I said, okay, fine, I'll take it to the car wash in the morning. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have Jenna do it. <laughs> because, you know, Jenna needs the money. And I, so I told her. Dude, you better give her so $500. She came in in a food. hazmat suit. She came, I swear to God, she came in fully suited up. And, but, but then he goes, <laughs> it was $50. Dude, it's dull. 50 it's, <laughs> It was 50 Oh Lord! Keep and then he going. said, "He said I tried to, I tried to clean it with a spray as best as I could, so Jenna should be fine dry." So Jenna basically had, but then that's not the worst part. On the way there, oh, no. on the way there, Jenna checked the back seat because she was like, "Something smells really bad. Are you sure that he cleaned it with spray?" And she goes back there, and there's two big turds that kind of just roll, have been rolling around in the back seat. Oh, it was camouflaged into the yeah. interior. So she then has to, she then has, she calls me. She's like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, but there's still poo rolling around back there. And so I, she had to pick it up. She had to use her hand. She had to raw hand it. I'm worried about his health. What a, there's so and much. And he's going to get a colonoscopy. Yeah, but there's so much meat. Korean barbecue and just meat that hasn't oh, digested. You know I know his body. I am his brother. <laughs> <laughs> He's got so when you have diarrhea, so, can uh -huh. I ask a question? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> just, I Go just ahead. Curious, a curiosity. Yeah. Uh, so when you have diarrhea, right? Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, does it burn? Oh my god, it burns and cramping. I get. I'm. I get intense cramping. Yeah. And it burns. <laughs> I hear. Me too. But my husband doesn't get the cramping. Do you? Get he's so cramping? fat, right? <laughs> You don't know where the cramp is because it's such a big area. You know what I mean? It could be here or there. Animal in Chicago. The, the, the grizzly animal. In Chicago? Yeah, your mom. <laughs> it's funny. That grizzly animal. It's <laughs> don't, don't talk about my mother. I, well, it's just a joke. Relax. Yeah. My mother's very pretty. She's a beautiful woman. Unlike your cross-eyed mother. Well, don't you? You don't have to fucking get. I'm not Bobby Mata. I'm I'm Bobby Mom. <laughs> You're so fucking mean, dude. Mm -hmm. All these Asians that are in entertainment, their parents ain't want them to do that. Let's be honest. Yeah, like being an actor, that's not what your parents are like yeah. hoping you would be when you grow up. So they're renegades as well. But because you're too re you're too much of a renegade, they're like, oh no, but that's a little too far. Yeah, he shits in the back of his Prius. They don't want that shit. No, no, that's understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loki, yeah. Low key, I'm okay with that. Like, you should be shunned by the community. Bro. Yeah. Like Chinese people just stop shitting on the street, and here you are, <laughs> an Asian shitting in a Prius, yeah. bro. Not on purpose, by accident. What happened? You don't I, even drink. I, you got no I, I know. I just have this. I I because I, I smoke cigarettes and I drink a lot of coffee, Andrew. Right? <laughs> I have this certain urge. I have a certain urge to take a shit every once in a while uncontrollably. But in traffic or like, what's the park, reason? Park outside of my dermatologist because he would rather shit inside the car than outside in a curb. Oh my God, bro. On La Cienega, you can't shit outside of La Cienega. It's a busiest street in LA. Yeah, so you and shit you in your Prius. So I shit in the Prius. Now, in a, in a bag. In a bag, yeah. In a bag, not well, on the yeah. back seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you shit on an fucking seat. Yeah, yeah. But he has shot in the seat before. I have, I have done that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many stories. But here's the thing, okay? <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, wow, what's the what? 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 I, I, I'm sorry. I mean, you just never. Th I never, never imagined you playing with children. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm glad You're you didn't, the way you just put it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Let me ask you something right now, yeah. Luke. And this is a real question, dude. Mm -hmm. If um, if like people in the, this country had a disease, right, mm -hmm. and they're all what's my die. favorite disease? No, the only and the only way to cure it is if you suck my dick. Mm -hmm. Would you suck my dick? I'm talking about billions of people, bro. Well, billions of people. What? What do you mean? What? Well, you said like <laughs> basically you said would you suck my, my dick? dick? Billions, billions of, of people. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what does he mean? Watching? No, I'm just what? saying though there was some sort of dis you know, some disease in the country, right? Do you really have a dick? I bet you have like a kazoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> makes no. Would you would you suck it though to save <laughs> millions of people's lives or what? I mean, uh, here's what I would do. I wouldn't suck it. Yeah, but if uh, someone else sucked it, you know, and it was late late at night, I might smell their breath really fast. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, you would do that? Yeah. Oh, but and that, hope that but I wouldn't live. cure the disease. That would cure probably 100 people, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. as long as I'm one of those 100, then that's fine with me, dude. Well, ask, ask the reverse. Would I suck your dick for a fucking... For billions? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Ask me. Would you suck my dick for a little... For, for 70, 80 bucks? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's it? Yeah. 70, 80 bucks? Not save the world? Well, you're not going to give me, just give me 80. Can you just give me 80? <laughs> okay, sure. Bro. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, for, get, round it out to 100. What about for a cheat code on uh, on that Bejeweled game you play or whatever? <laughs> Ooh. 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 That's time. What about tempting. for mystery levels? Would you suck dick for mystery levels? <laughs> Lila was so difficult to get. What do you mean? Oh, to like get as a girlfriend? Yeah, I mean, it was, I, I was like, I might not be able to get this one. Yeah. First of all, she's I mean, like, none of us I'm, thought so. She, for, for, what? None of us thought so. <laughs> Fuck you. When I first saw Kalila, I yeah, was like, yeah. and I met her. Not when I saw her. How about this? Take yeah. away just her, that she's pretty. Yeah. When I saw that she was so cool and nice and sweet. Yeah. I I, I was a, a little annoyed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that was your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earlier I said that I sucked a guy's dick. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Okay. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I feel like it's been weird ever since then. No. <laughs> no, which, which was, which was worse, the dick or that. asshole? What asshole? Like, uh, when you're just licking a girl's asshole. I, the dick, for sure. I'm not gay, dude. Yeah, but I was thinking about it the other day. Have you ever sucked a dick? No. You've never? Nope. Not even once? No. You ever think about it? <laughs> <laughs> then, but I was, I, I was thinking about it a couple, like, last week. For girls, it just must be, like, hard skin. Like, that's all, like, it doesn't... What? Like, it doesn't, it, it doesn't taste like anything. Like, if you take exactly, a Exactly, that's why you should try it. <laughs> I found a therapist... A Korean guy, Dr. Choi. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I wanted to, we had fun doing my dream. Um, <laughs> I wrote down the dream the day, the night before yesterday. Yeah. I want you to read it off. There's, I just jotted <laughs> it down. Uh -huh. I want you to analyze um, just the notes that I had about my dream. Yeah, and yeah. read it out loud into the mic. Yeah. <sighs> dream number one. Tunnel I had to walk through. On the ground were centipedes <laughs> and even scorpions. <laughs> got to a luxury high school. <laughs> it's because it says got to a luxury high school. Walked into men's shower. Noticed that the male females were combined. <laughs> he walked into a men's shower. Noticed that the male and females were combined. <laughs> They were like genetically or like mutated into two different, two different sexes. Uh, showered all alone in the dark. Uh, uh, had an apartment there. Like a micro home room. Uh, uh, poo and shower. Wait, you put in the shower. Why? I don't know. Why did you put in the shower? I don't know. I just thought uh, it. Ebo was there. He was Ebo. <laughs> Andy's mom. <laughs> I mean, listen to me, man. You think that, like, being the way I look, I was killing it in the 90s. What does that I mean? wasn't, because, imagine this, look at this body. Yeah. You didn't have this body. Right. Okay, you didn't have, you know. You're, why you gotta make it like that? I don't do anything. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, but don't do it. <laughs> I know, but, but I you don't that, have what, you know what I mean, what I have. I think that you're wrong because. I don't care what you you're think, not gonna it's believe not what this. I thought. I know, but you're not gonna believe this, but I sincerely, from the get-go, found you to found you attractive. All right, I mean. She's, I also grew up around so a lot of fucking Koreans. Funny. Did? Yeah. She's like, in high school, I would have dated dude. No, you wouldn't. I had dated fucking You would have never even seen me. She said I'm I dated in the woods. I'm in the woods during lunch, snorting crystal meth. You dated ugly? Oh, yeah, I fucked up ton of ugly guys because I wasn't that cute either. When I first came from the Philippines, I had a fucking well, then I wouldn't want you braces. bitch back then. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean, tooth to gum ratio. It was I was a mess. Who else could I could have fucked hot boys? The best part of that statement yeah. is like, of course I would have dated you. I dated other ugly guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 
my brother and I used to go to this spa on Beverly Boulevard, mm -hmm. and it was like there's no sign. It wasn't a Korean spa. My brother went and I went in there, and there was two guys just jerking each other off <laughs> in there. And my brother, he goes, "Let's fucking get out of here!" <laughs> like he got really angry, right? Yeah. But it's like he, well, they were jerking off on us. Well, you should. You probably left, right? I, I did it like maybe a three minute steam off to the side. Well, let's pretend like you're on the Tonight Show now. Ready? Yeah. I'm Jimmy Fallon. All right. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got a good one. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Today, oh, you're gonna love this guy. <laughs> you're gonna love this guy. This guy's great. Um, this guy is on a podcast uh, right now called Bad Friends. It's a great one. <laughs> He's got his podcast at Tiger Valley. Also a great one. This guy's also on a game show right now. It's awesome. He's selling a show. He sold a show. This guy is gonna be bigger than he's already. He's already big. He's already big. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee! Hey, man. Hey, you fucking white fucking tard. <laughs> You tardo! <laughs> if you were to choose <laughs> Andrew and I, right? If you were gay, yeah. who would you fuck? Who would you prefer to fuck, me or Andrew? Uh, me fucking or me getting fucked? Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that oh is, shit, that's a very, very good question. Good question. Very good question. Oh, uh, you fucking, you fucking, you fucking. Mm, Andrew, how much body hair do you have? Almost none, actually. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not hairy at all. Just answer the fucking fuck. question. Yeah, yeah, but let me think. I mean, I don't like hair. Yeah. I think Andrew might have a nice ass. Yeah. So, like, nice fucking into ass. But Bobby seems more, like, feminine, and he has <laughs> more curves. And I probably want to hold his breasts, I think. I, I think... I think I choose you, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, you yeah! got one! I won! You got one! I don't dude. give a fuck dude, what you, you got... said. I won that. You have a full more feminine. Yeah. He wants to hold your tits. I love this. <laughs> tell, him, tell, him, tell him the story when Dice sent you home because he lost that. <laughs> <laughs> I was working the door. I was working the door. At the store. At the store. And Andrew Dice Clay walks up to me. I don't even know him. And he goes, hey, Ching, get in the car. <laughs> he used to call me Ching. Right? He didn't know my name for 10 years. Every time, Ching. And I go, well, my name is Bobby. No, you're Ching. I go, that's racist. He goes, no, as Chiching. -chi you got <laughs> your money. Right? He tried to switch it up. He flies me first class. I have my comedy store t-shirt on. First class to Las Vegas. Right? And he goes, you're going to be my good luck charm. <laughs> he loses $750,000. <gasps> How long? In in twenty four hours. It was I'd never see I mean, imagine having no money and then but what was fucked up about it is the whole ride over there, he was like, You're gonna get ten percent of my winnings. <laughs> so in my head is if he makes a million dollars, I'm gonna make a hundred grand. Right? But now he's down seven fifty. Right? And he goes, Go home. I went home. <laughs> and he didn't talk to me for years. Tell them what I do at a restaurant if I pay. Mm -hmm. So if he pays um, let's I'm taking out some people. Let's, th let's say you ordered a $65 steak. Tastes delicious. Yeah. Um, you only eat half. You want to take some home to your kids. And I'm paying for it. If he's paying for it, you're not allowed to take anything. I like that. <laughs> I like exactly that a lot. Right? I like it's that mine. a lot. It's mine. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, oh I, I, know wish, I wish I had I'm those right. balls. I'm right. Oh. I'm right for once. You're gonna want this wrapped up, and then Bobby just goes, "Yeah, one box." No, I leave. It. I don't even take it. In fact, I've done this before. I leave it on the table. It I've no one can take it. I've taken the box. <laughs> I've secretly packed it in a box, and he's done this to to a sandwich of mine. Looked at it, <laughs> smashed my sandwich. So it's now all over the place and inedible. Yeah, that's hilarious. And the next time you pay for the meal, you can take it home. Do whatever you want with it. That is so brilliant. I believe. Mm -hmm. That if I was imprisoned, that you would be really caring. You would have tears in your eyes, and yeah. you would really care. I don't know if you can do that as an actor. I don't think you have that kind of depth. Mm -hmm. Like Johnny Depp? Yeah. But I'm just letting you know that in we joked life. around just now, but in real life, I really believe that you would make me cry and go, thank you so much, sir. Okay. You can't do it now, I don't think. I might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Really? Let's try it. Really? All right, so I'm going to be real, too, because... Okay. So, here we go. Is this taped? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Sir, I, th I think they're going to kill me tomorrow. 
<laughs> you can't laugh, man. You're fucking up. <laughs> no, but the way you looked at me was so fucking funny. <laughs> it wasn't funny, dude. All right, let's do it again. Sorry, it's give not me funny. A, You're gonna cut, fucking... cut. Let's do a scene. All right. But the way you looked at me was so sincere. It made me laugh so hard. So let's start. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah, be that's real. what I'm supposed to do. You fucking piece of shit. All right, just, all right. Just look away from me and turn to me like that when I say my line. Okay? That's what I. I know. Did, look, bro. I get another shot at it. <sighs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sir, uh, 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 I, th- I th- the, the, the white dude. I don't know. I don't know if he was your brother or whatever. He goes. I'm gonna hang you. You gook tomorrow. You flat face gook. I- I'm scared. Time for you to die, you little fucking snap pee. <laughs>